If you like this video, subscribe to me and add me as a friend. Hey, what's up folks, I'm David Spades. If you don't know who I am, you must not have a computer. Folks, let's pay some bills. Today we're talking about douchebags. Fox has this new show coming out called New Girls. It premieres September 20th. You can see the link to the trailer here. Pow! 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 This motherfucker. Or you can see the entire first episode free on iTunes. That link will be in the description box. Now on the show, they have this jar called the douchebag jar. It's just like the swear jar, you know, if you call doing something that's douchebaggy-ish. Is, is that a word? Douchebaggy-ish? Okay. If you call doing something that makes you look like a douchebag, you gotta put money in the motherfudge. I didn't even have to say motherfudge on that. That's just a waste of motherfudges. I pretend swear too motherfudge much. Damn! Damn! Fudge! Ah! Of course I want y'all to give me examples of somebody being a douchebag in the comments, but I have a personal douchebag question for you all that I would like for you to answer. Here's the situation. Y'all know my son, Donovan. Donovan is four years old now. I take him to preschool Monday through Friday. It costs five hundred more fucking dollars a month. Now there's a gate that you have to enter to go into the school, and a lot of times, you know, as I'm, you know, opening the door for Donovan, you know, mothers will be there with their child getting ready to walk in behind us, so I hold the door open for them. That's how my mama raised me. I'm a southern boy. Now, usually, when I open the door for somebody, the motherfucker says thank you. It's kind of a common practice. Now there's this one particular heifer. Dave, you did not have to call her a heifer. That was disrespectful. There's this one bench that every time I hold a door, matter of fact, I want you to know as you, if you happen to be watching this video, yeah, I'm talking about the little stars preschool, you little skinny pale Spanish chick with a daughter. I'm talking about you, heifer. Almost every motherfucking morning, I would hold the gate open for her and her daughter, and she walk in and just keep walking. Don't turn around and say thank you, nothing. Now, now, I know some of y'all are thinking, what, well, Dave, she didn't ask you to hold the gate open. You, hey, you are absolutely right. I had to self-check myself on that because I was just so used to people saying thank you. When she didn't, I was like, ain't this some shit? So yeah, correct, you are right on that, okay? Self-check, you're right. Here's where the whole douchebag issue comes into play. So I'm like, you know what? She didn't ask me to hold the door open for her, and that's not my motherfucking job. There's nothing in my job description that says nothing about holding doors open for people. I do it because that's the way I was raised and people seem to appreciate it. So what was upsetting me wasn't necessarily the fact that she wasn't saying thank you. It's just the nasty looking attitude she had like I was supposed to do that shit. And since she didn't show her appreciation and she ain't paying me, why the fuck should I keep doing it? So the other day, me and Donovan were walking up to the school, you know, and guess who's behind me? Bingo, motherfuckers. I opened the gate, let Donovan walk through, I walked through, and I let the door close by itself behind me. This heifer's got the nerve to go, Ugh. like I'm a motherfucking douchebag. I look back at her like, what? So in the comments, no right or wrong, this is just your opinion. Was that a douchebag move on my part? I, just tell me honestly. Tell me honestly, I'm not gonna get mad, I'm not gonna get mad. I'm David Space, say what you gotta say. Now get that camera on my face, sucker! Hey, hey, listen to me. Whatever you do, don't move. He'll bite you in the penis. <laughs>